Okay. Hi, everybody. There we go. Um, so I think we have everybody. Um, and today is September 16th. This is a senior center, senior citizens advisory committee meeting. And I'm going to hand it over to our new um, chairperson, Janice De Roberts. Congratulations and thank you. Thank you. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Janice. And Hi, just, everyone. Just quickly, Hi. Cindy Jacobs is uh, a candidate for town council, and she wanted to get to know what happens um, at our meetings. So I uh, gave her the, the numbers. Um, Welcome. If I, uh, just going to add, I'm interested in knowing too, because, uh, well, it's a worthwhile committee and also I'm of age. So uh, I'm very interested to know the activities that um, are in uh, my age group and the kind of community events that you're doing. So um, I'm just here to listen and learn. Great. Welcome. And I'm sorry, did you say it's Cynthia Jacobs? Cindy Jacobs, C-I-N-D-Y okay. Jacobs. Thank you. Oh no! You want my address or? Um, no, I just need it for the minutes right now. Okay. At some point. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So I'm calling the meeting to order at 3:03, and um, uh, looking at the minutes that Amy sent out earlier. Does anyone see any other corrections? I know Chris Taylor made a correction earlier. Okay, so that being the case, um, can I get a motion to accept the minutes from May 20th, 2021? So move. I make them. Oh. oh. Okay, Henry. Okay, I make a motion to. Uh, okay, any second? Uh, accept, uh, make a motion to accept the minutes. Okay. I'll second. Okay. Thank you, Kathy. All right, um, so then I guess we just move to old business and we have already talked about how I'm the new chair. So we can, I think we can move on to October shredding e event unless there's any questions about me being the chairperson. Okay, um, so the October shredding event, who, who would be telling us about that, Amy? Sure, um, so we're all set and scheduled for, I keep forgetting the date. I want to say October 6th. Um, and it's going to, it, yes, it's uh, Saturday, October 16th from 9 till 12. And we are going to be doing the shredding event as we did in May. And this time around, we're also adding um, that we will be do, uh, accepting uh, food donation, food and monetary donations to our Weathersfield Food Bank. Um, we have a couple volunteers for that. If anyone here would like to come down that day, it is a Saturday um, for, and for the, mostly the shredding portion of that is handled by File Shred. They have two guys here. Um, people, if you came to the last one, they just drive up, um, put their car in park. They open either, they either put their shredding in their back seat or their trunk. They stay in their vehicle and the workers grab it out, put it in the truck. It gets um, shredded right there. Uh, at this one, we'll also have a stop along the route of the parking lot um, to drop off food donations or monetary donations to the food bank. Um, myself, Chris Taylor has volunteered and Erica Texera who is the social services director or assistant director. I'm, did, did I get her title right, Kathy? Yes. Um, yeah. uh, social use services. Uh, so the three of us will be there, but we're always welcome to add any hands that, if you'd like to stop by. Um, basically, we will, again, they will stay in their car, keep their donations in their backseat or hand them over, um, and we'll put them right into the town van that will go over to the food bank um, at after uh, in the afternoon. All right, I will definitely be there at some point for an hour or so. Right. Okay. Yeah, Amy, I, I also will be there, but I am going to be limited in what I could do as far as lifting goes. But oh, oh, maybe that's you could find a job for me. <laughs> yes, always. And, and again, I think we're covered by the three of us. Um, but you know, like I said, we'd love to see you there if you'd like to stop by and. Uh, 
I always find something for you to do, Henry. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can great. wave Thank to you. people. <laughs> Okay. Um, so <laughs> yeah, I'm good at that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, if we're all set with that, we can move on to new business. And first of all is committee openings. Um, we can take Carol Narciss off of our list. She moved out of town. And my understanding is that Dan Aldinger is also moving. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so we have a couple of openings. My sister-in-law has put her name in, Eunice DeBella. And uh, so I guess her name would be presented at the next town council meeting. Um, Tom, that's how it works, right? Wouldn't it, that be? May not be the next one. It depends oh. on when that gets uh, reviewed by the committees, uh, either Democrats or Republicans who are gonna uh, okay. put that name forward. So. Okay, I think uh, they're we're going to put her name forward um, this evening. So hopefully, okay. it'll be on the agenda for uh, uh, the next. What is it? The twenty seventh. Your next meeting. There is there's one Monday night. And oh, right. There is a possibility they have what they call a walk in uh, nomination. Okay. So the town clerk would just prepare the document. You know, the day of the meeting, and it could possibly go that fast. Oh, all right. Well, we'll see. She would have um, been sitting in on this meeting today, except that um, it's Yom Kippur. So uh, she chose not to do that. Um, otherwise, I'm still looking. Um, I thought I had a, a couple um, that was considering it and they changed their minds or they decided that they didn't have enough room in their schedule for it. And I have one other friend uh, thinking it over. So hopefully we can get uh, more people and Tom too at your uh, Republican town committee meeting if you want to mention that we need members that would be terrific. Sure will. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. And I just wanted to make a quick mention Janice did send me over a little blurb to promote that and that will be in the October newsletter in the real reminder in October and as on uh, the website as well. All right, I also put a notice up in town hall, They or not town hall, but downstairs in the parks and rec on their hallway bulletin board. They said that would be okay to do. Um, so any other ideas about how we can get the word out would be very welcome. Okay. All right, uh, moving on to status of programs and services. Um, we hear from maybe the senior center first. Thank you. Um, so, We've been a little bit back and forth. Right now, we are open for um, our uh, small group programs, and we are by appointment only. Um, however, people can call up and just stop in. Uh, I am asking that they register for all programs. Um, in the summer, we began our like small groups like movies and one-on-one -on -one services. Uh, we had bingo come back for a few weeks, which is one of my larger programs. Um, and then the numbers started to go up again. So come August, we had to cancel the large groups and we're currently not running a uh, bingo or setback, which are our two big ones. Um, I'm hopeful that by, you know, the beginning of October that perhaps those will be coming back. Um, and again, Unfortunately, I don't have a crystal ball. We kind of go week to week and um, Kathy and the EOC uh, committee meets with, um, or team meets with um, the Central Connecticut Health District and they review the numbers and the risk factors and all that. Um, so they, so each week I get an idea of what we can bring, be bringing back, but it won't come back before at least the first week in October. Um, I have been running other small programs. Our fall session just started this week. We had a few glitches um, with our, we just started bringing back our exercise programs in person. Um, some are still all remote. Some are a hybrid of remote and in person, um, but they went really well. Um, I had our, both our yogas. That was the one that I was just at before I came here. Um, but they're going well. And I think we're in the situation that all senior centers are in Connecticut. 
as we bring back programs, it's it's a little slow moving. Some folks are a little wary of coming back in person. Others are dying to get back. I know that setback group, um, I have almost 80 people signed up. They're like ready to go when we are. So um, luckily we have like a large room and we can, we, we are, the things we have brought back have been done very successfully. We we're able to spread people out um, and put in protocols that are keeping them safe. So those are good. Um, we're still continuing to communicate by Rare, the Rare Reminder ads, our website, email, the monthly newsletter, and I do make phone calls with the help of our volunteers when uh, we need a quick turnaround as well and just to do some checking in on folks. Um, and again, lots of remote stuff still going on and as we add in new things, um, I continue to do a grab and go since we can't have food in the building yet, so we've done some uh, grab and go lunches, which are very successful. Um, and in the month of October, Stop and Shop did a Blooming for Good. Um, it was a fundraiser for our senior cafe. I won't get the numbers back till probably October, November, but it looks like we might get $100 donated to, to that, which was very nice um, for them to choose us. And um, that was August. Right? That was for the month of August. Yeah. Um, I had sent out some emails and, and put up posters at town hall and uh, tried to get that the word out for that. Um, and in our latest and on our newsletter and in the rare reminder, we've been highlighting uh, elderly services and Chris Taylor and all that she provides um, for people looking um, I, I always put something in there about social and youth services as well as the food bank, but we're really, we're highlighting uh, what Chris does and, and if they're looking, if uh, the elderly are looking for services or more information um, that has been highlighted there. And I'll try to continue to do that um, and, and put in as much information as I can each month uh, Thank as you, space allows. Okay. And, and I think that covers everything at the center right now. Okay. All right. Um, how about the uh, town council? Do you have anything new from May? Uh, <clears throat> not too much. Um, <laughs> everybody has heard that the town manager has submitted his resignation. Uh, so we're in the process of trying to fill that position uh, first on an interim basis and then uh, give us some time to uh, do a full search uh, for a full-time replacement. Um, I guess uh, I'd just like to say uh, we're kind of wrapping up. It's like two years uh, since I got on this committee and uh, we have uh, another month to go uh, of October and uh, then we'll have a new council and new board of ed and uh maybe i'll be here maybe i won't <laughs> so um other than that uh things have been fairly quiet you know we do take a couple meetings off for the summer uh so there's been a little less activity um myself i'm finally taking a vacation so i'm going to miss monday mm -hmm. night's meeting but uh good for you yeah. <laughs> okay. that's all all right, and um, so Chris, how about you? Chris Taylor for Elder sure. Services. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Janice. Um, uh, I've been keeping busy. Um, we've been doing a lot of the renters rebate applications. That program is going to be ending soon on October 1st. And to date, we have uh, took uh, 486 um, applications altogether, and it amounted to about $258,617.07 in grants to our Weathersfield residents. And uh, so that's a good thing. And then um, we are starting to take appointments for the CRT Energy Assistance Program. Um, and people are calling in, um, you know, we're doing priority with uh, people with the oil heating. Um, so the first two months of October and November are designated for people with oil. And if we need to go into other months, we certainly can too. But, uh, and then the um, 
January and February and all those other months are for people with electric, uh, gas, heat, and uh, renters. And so there's uh, quite a bit of money so far from the um, state as far as the CRT program. It does have to be approved through legislation. Uh, but if anybody's interested, I do have the guidelines for that too. Um, and we've been busy. Um, there's been a lot of change. You know, people are moving in and out of Weathersfield from senior housing due to COVID and, you know, uh, medical needs and going into assisted living and rehab. And so um, we're picking up, we're losing clients, but we're also picking up many, many clients filling in those spaces that are new to Weathersfield. Mm -hmm. And um, we're also this tomorrow, actually, tomorrow we'll be giving out 80 gift cards to seniors for $10 each as uh, part of the senior food initiative through the mayor's charity ball. Uh, and these are old funds that uh, we were not able to distribute because of COVID. We used to go out and buy fruit and vegetables for seniors and make 80 bags of food with volunteers. And those were distributed to Executive Square and also here at the town hall. So in lieu of that, we are giving out gift cards and that will be once a month um, for the next five months in, uh, until the end of January uh, for, uh, for seniors to buy food at Stop and Shop Supermarket in Weathersfield. And uh, what else do I have here? I think that's pretty much it. Amy had mentioned that, you know, we're doing the food drive and, and uh, so I hope, you know, that should, you know, it's the first time we're doing a drive, drive through, uh, food drop off. So I'm hoping that, you know, that will be very good. Uh, we'll bring the, the van and hopefully fill it up with food yes. and bring it back here because that's very busy too. You know, people are coming in, um, seniors in particular, and, um, you know, needing food at the, at the end of the month because of the fixed incomes that they have. And I think that's all I have. I don't know. We're busy with choices and emergencies with the veterans. Um, I don't have any other information right now. And how is the food bank stocked right now? It, it's good, but as soon as it gets stocked, you know, the food goes out. So we're constantly needing to, um, refer, you know, refurnish that um, food. And we thank the community because if it wasn't for this great community of Weathersfield, I mean, we would have the, the shelves would be bare. Okay. But, you know, with the hunger action team and all the people coming in and donating food, the groups and committees and schools and um, churches, et cetera, you know, it, somehow we're able to make it. Thank you. And can I just ask, you said something about emergencies with veterans. Are you able to expand on that a little bit? Um, I don't know if I bet. Well, yes, we've had um, a couple of emergencies this past month with uh, homelessness and veterans. And uh, so I was able to connect a gentleman. Um, I can't give you all the specifics, but you know, he's still working and he is a senior and um, was living in his car and then, you know, uh, couldn't afford the motel. So we did uh, connect him with the a federal VA homelessness program and he was able to secure a shelter and a home for himself. So that was very good. Okay. So those kinds of emergencies do come up. Wow. Even in Westfield. I just have a uh, food bank question if I could. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, what would your preference be? Would, it, would you rather see monetary donations or actual food? Uh, you know, are you in a situation where you could, you know, uh, use money to you know, purchase what you need at a better rate than, you know, if I go out and buy a turkey, for example, and bring it down there. Um, we, we could use both. Thank you, Tom. Um, you know, food is always helpful. Monetary, if people give my, um, donations, that's helpful too, because we can go out and buy, um, you know, the food also to stock the shelves. So either, whichever works. But, for, you know, you I know, don't have a preference. You know. We don't have a preference now, but you know, if we do have the money, then we go out and purchase the food. So, or we can get gift cards too with my, uh, with the money. But thank, thank you. you very much for thank asking you. that. It's a Kathy very good might question. have another. And Tom, what we're also able to do, and we do, we'll take both. It doesn't matter, as Chris said, but we also can use the money to go to. I know Food Cheer changed their name. I'm not sure of their new name now, but we're able to go to them 
and um, used some of our funds to purchase there at greater bulk. Right, that's what I was going to get at the, you know, you know, their ability to buy the food at a much better rate than, you know, the residents can. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and sometimes they have certain food that we're eligible mm -hmm. for that we can also get at no cost. So there's a lot that goes on in, in, with that, but there's a lot of different resources we have available. And can I also mention, I know sometimes we also take in food that is expired or it's like ready to expire. So unless we can get it out quick enough. And I know last year uh, for the holidays, we did because of COVID, we did a monetary donation. And I, I don't think that has been settled yet if how, how it's being done. I, I would refer to Kathy. I don't know. If, um, yeah, we haven't decided yet. It, in, in most years, we give out bags of groceries or holiday at the holidays. Um, and last year we did it through gift cards just because they could come by, pick it up. And um, it was less contact all around. And we're evaluating now where we're gonna be this year. So we're just checking that out. We, like everybody, we were all hoping September, October would be pretty good, you know, but we're, we're, we're watching it. And we'll be making that decision in a little bit. And people were appreciative of the gift cards too. You know, it's uh, a little bit of both at the time. And we're buying them from our local stop and shop. So that's another, you're, 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 we're shopping local. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So moving on to Kathy, um, if you wanna give your report on Parks and Rec. Sure, I can sort of uh, piggyback on what Amy said about um, Parks and Rec was also, we're also able to run uh, our programs, a lot of the small group programs. Uh, we got permission to do our after school programs in the schools. So that's ongoing right now too. Uh, and actually some of that all starts this week or started on Monday. Um, we do have our fitness classes that you have a choice of signing up in person or online, the hybrid similar to what the seniors are doing. And with that, if you sign up in person, there's a certain limit on that so that, again, we could space everybody out according to all the guidelines that we have, again, to keep people safe. And this way, people have a choice. Am I going to stay home and do it in my living room or wherever, or come to the community center and do it? So that's working out. And we are, with our facilities, the community center, the Wells House, we are doing bookings of uh, groups depending on size, and that they will then depend on which room they need, again, for spacing out. We're not, the, we're not the mask police, we're not the social distance police, but we set up the room so that there's enough room for everybody to space out and be comfortable. So we're doing that, and it's a gradual, uh, we're, we're doing that gradually, and people are able now uh, to book the community center. So that's, that's a slow process and we're keeping an eye on it. And we watched it as the numbers went up and down. So it's kind of a, always a work in progress. Mm -hmm. uh, and we just got the word from the school department that uh, right now we can use the high school pool. We have a, chill, a student uh, swim team, we call it the Barracudas. We just got permission to um, start that up. And then now we're gonna work on uh, using the pool for rec swimming and swim lessons. So we're kind of doing it in stages because the school wanted to see how everything uh, came out with all the kids going back to school. So parts of it are gradual and everybody's doing everything outside. So <laughs> there's a lot going on outside in town with all our youth sports and um, both at the youth level and the high school uh, sports level. So um, being outside has worked out and we've even uh, through COVID, uh, rented out park space for people that wanted to teach yoga or fitness or things of that nature so they could get out of their studio and outside. So a lot of different things have changed, but they've all been fairly positive, and we've been working through all that. And over the summer, we had both pools open, and um, numbers were very good, both Millwoods and Willard, and Millwoods was able to stay open an extra week because kids went back to school later. So that was a big help for having something to do because a lot of everything else sort of closed up. So um, 
So we're not there yet, but we're gradually getting back with all the programs and working through things that we have to. Okay. Well, thank you for being so versatile and creative. Um, I'm sure people in town really appreciate it. It's pretty amazing what you all do. Yeah, and they all had good ideas. Uh, can we do this or can we do that? Or can we... So it was nice to see that, you know, they were giving us suggestions. We were following up on them and um, trying to work. And, and the parks were busy over the summer and now, which is good. You want to see people outside. And the weather's cooperating almost, so. <laughs> Terrific. Okay. Um, so I think that's it. Anybody I missed for I, reports? Amy? I forgot one thing and that I, is probably important to mention too, that flu shots will be um, mm -hmm. provided by the Central Connecticut Health District again this fall. Um, we are scheduled for our flu clinic to be held on October 7th and October 19th. It's being done a little bit differently this year. Both clinics will be drive-through clinics and um, residents will need to um, sign up online. Um, if they don't have access, like a lot of my seniors don't necessarily have access to their computer to do make their appointment, there is a phone number that they can reach um, as well. Uh, so, and they're, they're taking appointments like every five minutes. They're just trying to avoid this. Last year, our first flu clinic, the, the line was out down Knott Street. So this way, I mean, even if people, I'm sure some people will be a little early or might not right on time, but this will space them out. Um, so they will be a smooth sailing, hopefully through our drive-through clinic, which they did do one day of a drive-through or maybe both days last year of the drive-through and it went very well otherwise. So, so if you need any more information, I do have that on our senior center website or you can go to the Central Connecticut Health District website, which is, I think, cchd.org. Or gov. You can look at it. Right. Well, and uh, just cchd.org. Okay. You did a great job last year with the um, COVID shots. Um, that was pretty impressive. So yep. I appreciate that and I thank you for that. Oh, that was in conjunction with them and their, their well-oiled machine. And we had a lot of volunteers. And again, I thanked uh, Parks and Rec who gave me a lot of support or to have volunteers to reach out to our residents. So thank you. Okay. We're, we're always amazed at the number of phone calls that were made. I forget, Amy, how many? It's in at least 1,500, maybe more. Um, yeah. I'm almost, I feel like I'm almost getting as many call, calling in for setback lately. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was quite a huge number. Um, and we really reached just, I, and honestly, I, there was one person that had, after all was said and done, that had called me and said they, they were disappointed that they couldn't get in. And the more I talked to her, um, you know, we really reached just about everyone that was in really great need that couldn't get transportation or, or had trouble. And this one woman, the more I talked to her, I found out that she did go for her first shot. It was a Pfizer shot, um, I think at Rensselaer Field or something. And that was why she couldn't get in on our clinic for her second shot. So honestly, it was really, the CCHD did a wonderful job. And, you know, like I said, I couldn't think enough all the volunteers that helped us out and we really reached, you know, a good portion of our residents. So it's amazing. Um, all right. Um, if I've covered, ever, gotten, gotten to everybody and we've covered everything, we can um, move on to announcements. And um, I'm just, you know, mainly about people spreading the word about uh, our membership. Um, also, um, when we have more members, we can talk about um, maybe sharing the, the minute taking at our meetings um, and give, uh, you know, Amy does it all. Amy does everything. Oh. So <laughs> I know what though, I, what I'm doing right now today is I'm actually typing them as we talk. So this oh. may help me um, get things done a little sooner. Maybe 
I could use a volunteer to help me get them into good form <laughs> at the end, but that is wonderful. Thank you. I was asking for that for a while. <laughs> Thanks. <I know. laughs> well, you know, I don't know how many people really know that you're not a full-time employee. You certainly do a full-time job, more than full-time. And, um, you know, however, our membership, once we have more, um, can help out. I think that that would be a good thing for us to do. Um, in fact, anything um, from any department, I would like us to be a committee that um, is there for you to help out, you know, um, as much as we possibly can. All right, uh, any other comments, announcements? You just made me remind me of something I was mentioning okay. to Kathy earlier today. Um, when I first came on board, uh, I believe it was this committee and Chris Taylor, um, organized to get this Weathersfield Senior Center, Senior Citizen Informational Brochure. You oh. may have seen it. Um, mm -hmm. It's just, we're, we're running low now. They printed a, a bunch of them. Um, we're starting to get low, but it's about time to that. It needs to be updated as well. There's a couple things in here that no longer exist or they've um, changed a little bit. So I was thinking this might be a good job for our new committee. And I what I, I did find it online, um, the original, and I had already made a couple changes that I know that I saw that were um, needed updating. But um, maybe that's something I will send to you, Janice, and then we can share it maybe at the next meeting to see if you guys want to do another brochure. Sure. Sounds good. Okay. And, yeah. It might not be a bad idea for the next meeting to have it as an agenda item. Right. And we get you out the current draft and everybody can A, comment on it or say, why isn't this in it? Or why is that in it? Or, you know, get a little feedback as we begin to work on it. Oh, great idea. Great idea. Okay. Um, all right. I think also the next time on the agenda, we should have our May event there you know heaven only knows if it'll happen this year you know we'll have to make some decisions i think by february we have i would think we'd have to decide if it's going to happen or not um though i did mention last year that we should uh let the travel agents uh we should communicate with them by january um but i think a decision for better or for worse should be made in february so that we can have the right amount of time to, to get it together. So we can put that on the agenda for next time. Okay. okay. If there's anything else? I didn't know if Sylvania had anything from housing. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Is she on, is she with us? Yeah. Oh, okay. She sorry. may be unmuting herself. There she is. So Sylvana, do you have some, an update for us from housing? You know what, last time too, she had trouble talking and I, let me just check. She might be chatting with us here. Oh, All right. She is muted. And she does she say hi, her. everyone. Okay. I think she's, she had last time she had trouble with um, getting her audio to work. So if she has anything, she can put it into the chat box. If she right. can't. I don't know if she can, well, I know she does not. Oh, have she's her on the audio on. Right. Well, it's a, she did write in here. Hi, everyone, Silvana. So. Oh, I see that. Okay. So any updates? Oh, okay. Here we go. Not prepared to speak today. Okay. Okay. She wrote, I was not prepared to speak today as I am not on the agenda. However, if I am placed on the agenda, then I can formally speak. Right. Um, I think the last couple meetings we were doing very informal meetings. So sure. probably going forward, regardless if we're remote or we're um, in person, we will resume doing the updates from right. each department. Right. For, you know, okay. we'll, we'll do it. We'll meet again in October. And, you know, if things are horrible and there isn't anything going on, then we'll decide about November. Okay. I'll put it on the agenda, though, for each department's updates. My apologies, Silvana. All right, um, do I have a motion to adjourn then? I don't, unless there's something else. 
Okay, so do I have a motion to adjourn then? I don't think I can do it or I oh, think it has I, to I be make one a motion of the- to adjourn. Yeah, thank you. I make oh. a motion to adjourn. Okay, Thanks so and much. do I have a second? Sure, I'll second. Okay. But Amy, right. you, you and Chris are our members, so you can- um, Oh, you okay. Can, I thought someone just, told me in the very beginning that we're not allowed to. Well, to, you're, okay. you're, you take the social services place. Oh, and, okay. And Chris Taylor is the municipal agent. Okay. So, so those are members of the committee. Okay. But obviously, usually we let the seniors do it when they're here. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Right. All right. Well, we've got it second. So mm -hmm. we'll see you in October. That would be October. October 14th. Oh, I it? wrote it down. Uh, October 21st, I believe. 21st, right. 21st, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank well, you. Everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you for the good work of the committee. It was a pleasure listening in. And <laughs> you, do, you guys do great work uh, for the seniors of our, of our town. Thank you. It's amazing right. what's, what gets done, isn't it? Yes, it is. And there are just many facets, whether it's health or recreation, um, mm -hmm. uh, community involvement. So thank you all. Okay, thank you. Thanks all for right. joining us. Have a good day, everybody. All right. Take care. Thanks.